welcome to Conley's Cool ESL. Today, we, are, we have a quick English grammar lesson for you. Count versus non-count nouns. Let's go. First, what is a count noun? A count noun is when you can say a or an before a noun. A non-count noun is when you do not use a or an before a noun. Some nouns are one way, some nouns are a different way. I'm going to teach you the rule right now. Rule time. If the word can have an S at the end, it's a count noun. If you can't add an S at the end of a word, well, at the end of the noun, well then it's a non-count noun. So let's do some examples together so that you understand this more. First, cat. Can you add an S after cat? Yes, it's cats. It's still a word and it is a count noun. You can have a or and with the noun. Let's go to the next one. Air. <sighs> air. Can you have airs? No, not really. It's just air. So you can't add an S. It is a non-count noun. We don't say an air or a air. We don't do that in English. Let's continue. Money. Can you add an S after money? Monies? Really no. So the answer is non-count. You can't add an S. It's non-count. It's a non-count noun. And here's another one. Hair. Can we say hairs in English? No, not really. So the answer is non-count. Let's do another one. Pen. Can we add an S here? Yes, we can. So pen becomes pens. Yes, it is a count noun, a pen. It works awesome. But we have bonus time for you. I have bad sound effects. All right. For the last part, I just want to give you a list of non-count nouns. These are nouns that, these are non-count nouns that don't use a uh, or an. All right? And that's all I've got from Conley's Cool ESL. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.